Imagine, you look out a window and see the earth shrinking away, along with it everyone and everything you've known, as you hurtle into the depths of space. Everyone on that pale blue dot knows you and will follow everything you do. You are, of course, the first human to venture past the moon destined for Mars. If everything goes well, in a few months you'll set foot on a new world. But it certainly won't be easy. You'll face challenges that no other person in the history of humanity has known to become the first human on Mars. Once you pass beyond the moon, you'll face an isolation that no one has known before. It now takes longer than one second for light to travel from the Earth to you. Since we communicate using encoded light, you can say goodbye to real-time conversations. A round-trip communication with Earth here takes about two seconds. Not bad, but it's only going to get worse. It's likely to be years before you can actually talk to another person again. You are alone in deep space. Can you handle the isolation? In this extreme social isolation, you are also confined. Your home, your world, is a series of pressurized tubes. No trees, nor grass, no sky, nor clouds. Not a single animal or insect, just the pressurized tubes. Even when you get to Mars, every expedition, every walk outside will be in a spacesuit. Can you handle the confinement? On the way to Mars, your body will waste away. Without the Earth's gravity, your bones will grow brittle and your muscles will atrophy. The only way to slow this degradation is to exercise for at least two hours a day. Even then, that won't stop the barrage of cosmic rays. Can you handle the degradation? These are extreme mental challenges but you will be the first of many to make this voyage. With each passing day, a pale red dot grows. The red world beckons as billions of people a hundred million kilometers away celebrate the first human to explore a new world. The greatest technological achievement of humanity made possible with your determination and resolve. Imagine your first footsteps on a red world.